make sure you're using the pencils and crayons that are appropriate for watercoloring. They will say watercolor on them. They often have um, the silver back end as well, and the watercolor crayons will have the wrappers around them. You will also need a paintbrush and a cup of water for this as well. All right, we're gonna start off by just experimenting. So take a variety of pencils and watercolor crayons and just start making some marks. So I'm playing around with just some random circles. You can try coloring them in really densely or try um, some different patterns. And then just take some water and brush on top. See what happens. See how you can carry the color around. Notice the, notice the difference between the pencils and the crayons as well. That will help as you continue this exercise. I'm going to continue to use a variety of pencils and crayons for all of these exercises. Um, these first couple squares we're just going to play around with what it is like to just color with the color itself and then to layer the colors and then activate that with water. So I'm just using the materials dry, um, so just the dry pencil and the dry crayon layering those. In the one that says layered and activated, I'm going to really layer it. So I'll put some orange and yellow down and then I'm going to put some different reds and oranges on top of that as well. And then I'm going to take my wet paintbrush and then just carefully drag over those areas I just marked up. And notice how it completely turns to paint. Also pay attention to the way that the pencil and the crayon behaves differently. Sometimes the pencil leaves a little bit more of a texture. And the crayons are, um, the, the color is a little bit more rich, but it definitely stains the paper more. So they both have some unique qualities. I like to use them together. Next, we're going to see what it's like to start with a wet surface. So we're going to paint some plain clean water onto the surface and then put the watercolor materials on top. So there's some pencil, there's a little bit of crayon. For this next part, I'm basically going to use the pencil like I would the watercolor, um, like the pans of watercolor. So I'm going to pull the color off of my brush with a, or off of the pencil with a wet brush. So I'm taking my wet brush and then I'm just applying that blue paint straight onto the paper. So this is a really controlled way that basically you can travel with watercolors if you don't want to take um, a whole pan along with you or if there's a color of watercolor pencil that is harder for you to make with the watercolor pans. You can do the same thing with the crayons here. Next, I'm going to practice a technique called lifting the color out. So I'm going to just apply some dry material, some pencil, some crayon. For this, it's really helpful to see the difference between the way the pencil and the crayon react. And so now I'm going to activate it with a little bit of water. And while the material is wet, so it's like wet paint, I need to make sure I have my paper towel handy and I'm going to dab that wet paint up with my paper towel. And you'll notice that the, the colored pencil is able to lift up a lot more, like it um, sort of erases more than the crayon does. Next, I would like you to color in this feather shape. And we're just going to activate some of the dry material, either crayon or pencil or both. I'm using analogous colors, so I'm going to start with some warm colors. And this is just going to be my first layer. So I'm going to get color all over this feather here. Okay, now that, that first layer is dry, I'm going to take some pencil. And I want to try to find some pencil that will add to... The color either make it darker or um, like make more, this orange a little bit more red and it's, it's taking me a little bit to kind of figure out what's going to work on top of here so 
with the red, I just, I had to get a little more intense. So I decided to go ahead and bump it up to purple. So I put a little purple on top of the red here. And I'm going to go try some crayon on top of my pencil because the, um, the pencil on top of this first layer did not work as intensely. So I have some orange crayon on top of here. And now I'm going to activate that with some water and see how that looks. This technique actually worked really well for this feather design because I got the all over color and that second layer retained a little bit more of its of the texture, like the lines that I actually drew, which helps to show some more of those like individual um, little parts of the feather. Watercolor pencils and watercolor crayons are such a unique material. You get a great level of control, just like you do with a regular color pencil, but then you get that painterly quality, just like you do with watercolor. So I hope you enjoyed experimenting with this. Mm -hmm.